This book was conceived as both presenting the results of an archaeological investigation that took place during the redevelopment work in the historic horror of Durham, with telling the story of a chain of tragic events that took place in the aftermath of the Battle of Dunbar. The university wanted to create a, a cafe and to redevelop some of the buildings within Palace Green Library. When the building work started, an archaeologist was involved because we are in the World Heritage Site and she found human bones at this end of the site where the excavation was deeper. We looked into it and in quite a small area, little more than a metre square, we found at least 17, possibly as many as 28 people buried in uh, mass graves. This is very, very exciting and uh, we've done a lot of work looking at dating and uh, other things that we can try and find out about the identity of these people. And the uh, really important news is that uh, it is confirmed that these people are uh, from the Battle of Dunbar. These are Scots prisoners who were captured by Cromwell in the civil wars, who marched south, were imprisoned in, in Durham. And many of them died of hunger and disease and were buried in mass graves. Lost Lives, New Voices tell the story of the discovery which solves the 350-year mystery of what had happened to the soldiers' bodies and the findings of an intensive program of archaeological investigation, including field work, surveying buildings, map research, and the all-important bioarchaeology. Going far beyond the immediate archaeological data, the authors explore what happened to the survivors and demonstrate how historical research in both the UK and USA reveal details of the subsequent lives of a number of individuals, tracing their personal histories in some cases down to the present day. Hello, my name is Dan Hamilton and I am a descendant of a 16-year-old boy named John Hamilton whom we believe was captured at the Battle of Dunbar and sent to Boston as an indentured servant. The book is available from the publisher Oxbow Books.